Hey, what's up you guys? Quick word. Thank you, first of all, for watching this video. Thank you for the, you know, incredible support that you've given me over the years. It doesn't matter if you've watched one video or you've watched a hundred or you've watched a thousand because there is almost two thousand videos on this channel. Thank you so much. The time has come. The time has come for me to create a reaction based channel. I asked you guys the question. Over 80% of you said you would be interested in that. So I've decided to take the, the, the leap of faith and um, create a brand new channel. Zero subscribers, zero views. This will be, this video you're watching right now will be one of probably the last five or six reaction videos you will ever see on this channel based around the Rugby Player Reacts title. I'm officially retiring my series titled Rugby Player Reacts. In the future, I will be putting all of my reaction videos on my second channel, Jake Reacts. I wish you all the best. I hope that I'll see you there. If you do want to subscribe, please do. The link is in the description box below. Like I said, this is going to be one of the, the last reaction videos you'll see on this channel. I'm going to put my heart and soul into this new one and I'd absolutely love your support. If you enjoy my videos, I know you'll enjoy these ones. I'm in Rockhampton now. This is my new environment. You'll see all of that plus more on my new channel, Jake Reacts. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the video. Right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm feeling under the weather. But I've got my two little kids coming around in about an hour. And as the saying goes, and it certainly does go when you're a father, especially of young kids, you make hay while the sun shines. And the sun's shining today, that's for sure. So guys, the first video of the day, we're looking at a New Zealander, a sprinter of African descent, who holds, what does he hold? Nothing, but his dad holds the 100 meter record for New Zealand. Now this guy is the fastest person in Australasia at 19 years of age. And I've just read that his father actually holds the record. So he set his sights on, set on breaking the record currently held by his dad. So let's get into this. This is going to be really good. You know, usually when we're looking at sprinters, we're, we're talking about Matthew Bowling recently. But I've got two, two more guys that we're going to do a bit of a dive on today. And the first one is named Eddie Osei Nkita. Or at least that's how I'm going to pronounce it. So let's go. My competitive nature takes over. On the bird. Oh, um, He's got a. I hear some UK there. Let's see. Execute the race. Begun, go. Okay. Whoa, hey, I think we've got him third in from the right. Uh, he is an. <laughs> look at the size of his legs. Does he have a UK accent or is it New Zealand accent or is it halfway between? Let's go. On the box, my competitive nature takes over. Um, Oh, Actually, that sounds South African. Look at him go! Running. When I'm running, I feel like I'm actually flying. My favorite part is the last 40. Oh, Damn, he's got a nice style. When I'm running, I feel like I'm flying. The last 40, that's my favorite part of the race. Okay, we've got a Usain Bolt on our hands. Jeez, that was impressive. Thank you, but you guys can call me Eddie or Ed. Who? My name is Edward Osaiki. Osaiki. But you guys can call me Eddie or Ed or Eddie Das. I am a 100 meter and a 200 meter sprinter. <laughs> and he's from New Zealand? You look at him and he's like, oh my god. Oh. Is this for real? Oh my god, alright. What, what an absolute... What a beast. I want to know how tall he is. Mighty. His glutes and his hamstrings. He's only 18 years old. He's 1 meter 90. 1 meter 90? His hamstrings. 6 foot 3. His legs are just so big and powerful. Where has he come from? He's been doing weights since he turned two or something like that. Just 
genetically he's an unbelievable specimen. My parents were born in Ghana and... Well, I was brought up in Whangapura in Auckland. My dad was a sprinter for New Zealand from 1990 to 2000. Got some good genetics. I went to the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games, then a couple of World Championships. I set a record 1994 Commonwealth Games. His record is 10 Set the New Zealand record. And my goal is to get that record. What did he get? His record is 10 11. 10 11. And my goal is to get that record under 10 seconds. I've got goosebumps. So far, I've run 10 19 in the 100. 10 19. 20 76 in the 200. 20 76 in the 200. It's just I need to be the best that I can be and like also run right under 10 seconds so I could just just lead the way for the Kiwis. <laughs> How good! It was there <laughs> that you know, this is special. It was very he took his Okay, so he took his first step at 10 months. Now that's, that is early. I'm just trying to think when Tate took her first steps. Around about 11 months. So I'm backing her to be special too. You put him here it's gone. And I have to leave him at the age of 9. And I moved to Cabo and just settled there. Where? One thing I enjoyed about Canberra, I moved to Cabo and just settled there. One thing I enjoyed about Canberra was the NIS track and like my training ground. Like I always called my program my happy place. I always feel like if I don't fit in. I want to be a sports star, but my friends just want to like want to go out partying and drinking. I just want to like go my own pathway. Beautiful, good old windy Wellington. It is a really great story here for Wellington. And I issued an invitation to him and his father to come to our Capital Classic. And so we flew them over from Canberra and he won the 100 and the season just took off. Canberra. Canberra. Okay, so at the age of nine, he went to Canberra. And it sounds as if he's currently living there. Came back and ran the Nationals and we obviously he took out the Australian senior title, which is an amazing fit for a young kid. And then Spot at the, the Doha World Championship. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Ready to race, bro. He hooked up with Gary Henry Smith at Scott's and, and they offered him obviously some scholarship to come over here and carry on with his running and so be part of the New Zealand program. Bro, play rugby, man. It makes sense for me to play <laughs> like a white rubber than the green and gold. I was born there, I was raised there, and like New Zealand, I love the atmosphere, I love the people. I see everything beautiful about the country, like it makes me feel like I'm safe with them. Nice, so he's gone over there at age 9. He respects both countries, just as all of us Kiwis do. But he wants to represent the black and white, and that makes me almost want to cry. I feel like million dollars. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> I am jealous, guys. Football! Someone put me in a quarterback position! Ah, oh, Scott's college, man. Uh, running back, mate. Oh, man. That school is just, oh, man. It's like one of the best relationship schools and possibly one of the best schools in New Zealand, man. So, this is the gym. This is Scott's college gym. And this is the... He can definitely dunk the shit out of that hoop, I'm telling you. This is all the New Zealand Secondary School Championships. And the man on the, the wall, Stephen Adams. Stephen Adams! From 2008 to 2011. Uh, he Stephen Adams went to that school from two, 2008 to 11. Okay. Uh, I think he could be one of the world's best in this particular area, in sprinting. And there's no doubt that he has the potential to do that. He's highly competitive. Look at him, he's an absolute he's, uh, beast. Last year, particularly in his racing. Reminds me of Anthony Joshua. Who thought that I would actually be traveling around the world at the age of 18, going to Doha, man, that was a dream. 
Gatlin! This is a little scary, like I have like 48 bastards in the water. I'm like, oh jeez, it's gonna be really hard for me to make the semis. Okay, just 0 0.01 milliseconds off the semifinals. I'm like, ah, man, so close, so close. <laughs> Look who he's racing against, for God's sake. We gotta, we gotta watch that race. Five in the game. Doha. You gotta be mentally strong. Doha heat. You just gotta worry about your training and yourself, man. It's an individual sport. Mm. You're on your own. Every mm. time I face the top sprinters, I bring the best out of myself because, like, I really want to just like show these guys that I'm actually a contender for the titles one day. It's wet. He's got a great start. This guy's second in is surprisingly quick. That you could ever produce. Look at his technique, man. Surviving the top level of the game. Oh, bro. <laughs> Running an amazing race. Finishing strong, not even having to dip your head because you know you've got it, and then running through like this. I mean, in slow motion with the music, it does bring tears to my eyes. It does. I'm not even going to try and hide it. Local Holy shit. <laughs> okay, Doha. 100 meter heats. Let's try and find them. All men's 100 meter heats. Boom. There he is. Is that him second in? No, it's not. We've got an Australian. We've got DeGrasse. There he is. There he is. Lane eight. The Doha Athletic World Championships 2019. Heat. Number two. On your marks. Set. Great start. Great start. He says he loves the last 40. Let's see how he goes. Mm. Mm. Don't you just love it? That was a year and a half ago, guys. Oh, let's see the times. Now, Justin Gatlin was in that race, right? 10.24.30. And he missed out by 0 0.01 of a second. So if he got 10.23, he would have reached the semi-finals. Okay. Oh, 10.24, holy shit. Justin Gatlin and DeGrasse. Now I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I have seen that name before. Let's watch that again. I'm gonna watch his race against Gatlin's specifically. And Gatlin's on the, on the right, is he? Yes. So they're right by each other. They're right beside each other. Let's go. Lane eight and nine.
he didn't do too badly at all. No. <laughs> He's like 18 years of age at this, man. At this, at this point. Oh, mate. Unbelievable. He needs to start a YouTube channel. That's all I'm going to say. But that's it. Guys, for our first video of the day. And I absolutely loved it. I hope you guys did too. Um, I began this feeling completely and utterly under the weather. But when you, when you see something like this, when you see a, a, a home, a guy from your homeland, you know, doing this kind of thing, let's just hope that this guy can stay healthy, stay with a great coach who keeps pushing him. And it seems as if he's got the, you know, internal drive to push himself. So he'll be out of school now. He'll be doing it on his own. Um, and that's just exciting. So with that said, in the next video, we're going to look at a guy who I haven't seen before, but this is a video uh, that's come up on my channel, especially since I've been watching Matthew Bolin. Now this guy's name is Lalu Zori. Lalu Muhammad Zori announced himself on the global scene in 2019 when he shocked the world. And that's all I'm going to read. So I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.